A brewmaster here in Victoria once told me the best way that you can judge a craft brewery is by the state of their simple pilsner. Let's find out if the same is true for non-alcoholic beers. Welcome back to The Review. My name is Andrew Reeve, and we are starting things off for our Dry January campaign comparing three Pilsners. One of my favorite beers here in town is the Hoyne Pilsner, and I thought what better way to start things off than to check out three options, uh, two from British Columbia and, uh, of course, one Heineken that everyone knows, one of the largest beer companies in the world. So let's, uh, let's crack at it and start off with a street legal which is 0.5% from Surrey, British Columbia. It's uh, Central City Brewing. And uh, we're going to grab a glass and get that started. So... There you have the beautiful kind of amber color, very light, uh, that you have on the Central City Street Legal Pilsner. So let's uh, have a sip. Uh, you definitely get those traditional Pilsner notes, uh, which is nice, that kind of grainy grassiness with that unique Pilsner funk. Uh, so this is a dealkalized Pilsner. It's brewed like a proper beer, and then Central City uh, removed that uh, with something that they call the cross-flow uh, filtration process that will be in uh, contrast to the Heineken, which is a 0.0, .0 not the 0 0.5, uh, and they remove alcohol via vacuum distillation. Let's find out what the difference will be. Um, but this has mosaic hops in it, and... Uh, You can definitely tell that it's non-alcoholic. Um, it just has that slightly more watered down notes that you get from non-alcoholic beer. But nonetheless, I would say a pretty good offering. But let's uh, crack open a few more and do a bit of a taste test. So second, we're gonna go with the Heineken here. Uh, a classic Pilsner. When a lot of people think Pilsner, they think Heineken. I don't blame them. Uh, but yeah, this is a 0.0, .0 compared to the 0 0.5 here, and uh, let's see if there's any sort of difference taste-wise from that. You can immediately tell, tell in the contrast how much sort of lighter and more transparent the Heineken is. It's much easier to see through in terms of its opacity. Uh, than this, I don't want to say cloudier, but it definitely feels heavier, the street legal. Let's give it a try. That's, that's definitely Heineken. You could have given me that, and that just unique Heineken funk, it's here. They've clearly put a lot of work into making sure that that unique kind of Heineken edge stays within their non-alcoholic options, which I know they've been investing heavily. In fact, uh, the past two World Cups, Heineken 0.0 .0 has been the primary sponsor as opposed to Heineken, uh, which you see that on the, the boards and whatnot and, and on the side of the pitch. Uh, they're really pushing the non-alcoholic uh, market, and I can't blame them. It's quite good. Now, the interesting thing about the Heineken uh, is it has four grams of sugar. And looking at the three options here, uh, this is the only one with sugar. Uh, I checked and did a little bit of research. The sugar is not added. So whatever Heineken's normal process is for brewing beer, you're getting that despite the alcohol removal, which is a lot of that sugar. Uh, this has four grams of sugar and these both have zero grams of sugar. So something to consider if you are someone that's watching your sugar intake, 
this one not only has uh, sugar, it's also the highest number of calories. This, I've uh, done the conversion because they're all different can sizes to a 350 milliliter can. Uh, the Heineken is 74 calories. The Street Legal is 56 calories. And uh, this Nani is 42 calories. So that'll be the lowest calorie option. Now let's give Nani a try. I went to Cook Street Village Liquor Store and I asked them what their most popular non-alcoholic beer was. And they told me this, Nani. Uh, I'd never heard of them, whereas I'd heard of Street Legal and obviously Heineken uh, before because of ad campaigns and seeing people drink them. This was new to me, uh, but apparently it sells like hotcakes at the Cook Street Village Liquor lo location. So I'm very excited about this. Uh, I may have already stepped over by doing what has been recommended as the best beer uh, on my first review, but uh, let's see if it can live up to the hype, shall we? significantly, significantly less head on this one compared to the other three, which is interesting. Uh, and also, again, way, way lighter. We seem to have gone in decreasing levels of amber from a much sort of richer color to your middle one. And then now this is, this is, this is straw. This is incredibly light. Uh, I don't want to say Mountain Dew, but uh, certainly much closer to, to something like that, like a Fresca. That's what it is. It's a Fresca. Um, let's give it a try. Mmm. So uh, certainly less of the Pilsner funk that, uh, that I'm looking for on a Pilsner. However, this is quite good. This is very easy drinking. Um, this has um, Saz hops and it's specifically a Czech Pilsner. And you've got that kind of light, crisp, almost kind of biscuity uh, taste on this, which is great. Um, this is also 0.5%. And this is, of course, the lowest calorie option, the 42 calorie option. Um, it's from Vancouver, BC. Now, Nani, the difference between these is that Nani only does non-alcoholic beers. Um, the Street Legal is from Central City. They do Red Racer and a bunch of other fantastic craft beers. Heineken, obviously, giant of the beer world. Uh, but Nani, they only do non-alcoholic beers. So uh, they're specialists in this. Definitely, definitely easy drinking. I uh, heard a lot of really positive reviews on this online. I can support that. But if you are looking for that traditional Pilsner flavor, I think I gotta give it to the Street Legal. It's got that, it's got that more maltiness. So if you're looking for a more maltier, something with the Pilsner funk that's local, the Street Legal has it. The Heineken, if you're a fan of Heineken, this is pretty spot on. It's, uh, it's quite good. Uh, but again, you got to keep in mind this has four grams of sugar. Um, and you're not supporting local either if you get this. But quite good. Because of the lighterness of the Nani, you almost have that kind of, I don't know, wheat beer type taste to it. Um, so if you're craving a really light Hefeweizen, this could be a nice alternative for you as well. Uh, they do a pale ale, uh, which I will try at some date in the future. I already have a couple of them in reserve, but I haven't had a chance to crack one open yet. But uh, overall, three di very different options here, uh, depending on what you're looking to get out of your non-alcoholic dry February, dry January that you're doing. So there you have it. Fantastic offerings from three different breweries. As that brewmaster once told me, you can judge a brewery by the quality of their pilsners. 
And I think what we have here today are three excellent examples of easy drinking, non-alcoholic beer to help you get through your dry February campaign. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, and this has been a lot of fun.